very special privilege today to present the Bermuda Progressive Labour Party's candidate for constituency 33. Jamal Snaith Simmons is no stranger to most Bermudians and certainly not to the people of constituency 33. Jamal is Sanders born and raised and possesses the experience to step into parliament on day one and deliver for the people of Sanders South. Since 2006, he has been a diligent servant of the Progressive Labour Party, serving in whatever capacity he has been needed with a positive attitude, a team press approach, and a strong work ethic. During our time in opposition, he has eagerly placed his hands in the soil and worked tirelessly to help our party reconnect with the people, supporting our MPs, working with our grassroots and our supporters, whenever and wherever he has been needed. Jamal Simmons brings to the table over a decade of political experience as a former member of parliament, chief of staff to the premier, and press secretary to the premier. He knows the issues, he knows the role, and knows what is expected of him, not just from the party, but from the most important people of all, his constituents. To the people of Sanders South, this by-election on November the 18th represents an opportunity to send the One Bermuda Alliance a strong message. One Bermuda Alliance broken promises, One Bermuda Alliance deception, and One Bermuda Alliance anti-Bermudian policies are unacceptable, and a new approach to creating jobs, expanding entrepreneurial opportunities, and creating a fairer workplace is needed. On November the 18th, we are asking the people of Sanders South to speak with a resounding voice and send the One Bermuda Alliance a clear message. Good morning. It is an honor and a privilege to have the opportunity to represent the people of Sands South and the Progressive Labor Party in the November 18th by-election. Bermuda is at a pivotal point in our history. On one path, we can choose to build a Bermuda that works for Bermudians, one that is inclusive and that truly believes that our people are our greatest resource. Or we could choose another path, a path where Bermuda only works for the few and everyone else is pushed aside and left behind. A, I believe in a Bermuda that works for Bermudians. I believe that while there are tough decisions to be made, our people are our greatest resource and we must first and foremost be our brother's keeper. I believe that the best way to judge a country is not solely by numbers on a balance sheet but by the way it treats its people. Too many of our young people who want to work, who want to be contributing and productive members of our society, are beginning to believe that Bermuda isn't working for them. Too many of our seniors who have sacrificed so much to give each of us so much are feeling under siege and losing hope. Too many of our civil servants are fearful that shared sacrifice means they sacrifice while others fatten their wallets. Bermuda is headed in the wrong direction, and this by-election represents an opportunity for the people of San Sutton to stand up, speak out, and send a very clear message that we reject Bermudians being treated as second-class citizens in our own country, that we reject slashing scholarships for our young people, and we reject the mistreatment of our seniors. Yet as we reject that, which does not serve our interests or our community, we must also embrace a vision that inspires and invests in our young people, protects our seniors, and takes a balanced approach to immigration that ensures that no Bermudian is left behind. This is what the PLP stands for, and this is the vision that with your support, we hope and will fight to make a reality. In the days ahead, I will be on the doorstep, reconnecting with you, reintroducing myself to you, and getting to know you, and more importantly, letting you get to know me. I will not stand here and promise you the moon and the stars, we have seen too many promises and too little progress recently. I will, however, commit to working for you, fighting for you, and doing everything within my power to preserve, protect, and increase the prosperity of all who call Sandy South home. On November 18th, I hope that you will support me, come out, and send a clear message to the One Bermuda Alliance that what they are offering, the people of Sandy South, are not buying. I hope you will join us. And together, we can begin the process of getting our country headed in the right direction and in building a Bermuda 